An ABC 17 storm track weather alert day is in effect overnight into early tomorrow morning. As I'm tracking the threat for severe storms, it'll bring the threat for damaging winds late tonight into very early tomorrow morning. Most of mid Missouri tonight in a level two out of five severe weather risk off to the east, or off to the west and southwest. That risk goes up even a little bit more towards the Lake of the Ozarks and the Warsaw area in a level three out of five. And this is mainly for the threat of damaging winds. Anywhere here in yellow showing a 10 to 15% chance of seeing strong winds of 60 miles per hour within 25 miles of a location. I'm expecting the strongest winds to be near the Lake of the Ozarks and along Highway 65, likely just after midnight tonight. Here's what I'm tracking so far. Already have that line of severe storms out across parts of Kansas into Texas. Now moving into Oklahoma, just about that entire line has some sort of severe thunderstorm or tornado warning on it. As we'll be tracking that, we're going to be watching that moving in well after midnight tonight. As winds start to pick up, we are going to see those strong winds continuing into tomorrow. Even behind this system, a cold front will be well to our east, but tomorrow morning we'll still have strong low level winds, possibly gusting over our area up to around 45 miles per hour at times, even through late afternoon before things start to quiet down. Here's what our future track looks like tonight. It will start it out at 9 o'clock, and this updates every hour. So this is our newest forecast model that just came in. I'm expecting temperatures to remain in the 50s tonight. We are going to see a chance for some spotty showers off and on through about 10 or 11 o'clock. Likely have some fog developing too as temperatures start to warm overnight. Here's what it looks like at 11. We'll have a chance of seeing those scattered showers. Not really seeing much of a severe threat at that time, but that will change once we get past midnight. Here's 1 a.m. Strongest storms start to enter western portions of the state, approaching Highway 65 between Brunswick and Marshall, and then moving into the Highway 63 corridor sometime between 2 and 3 a.m. Of course, this is not an ideal time for severe weather to be rolling through. So of course, make sure you have a way to get those warnings overnight, be that the storm track weather app or have your NOAA weather radio turned on and plugged in. Showers and storms continue to work their way quickly to the east. These are going to be racing ahead at around 50 to 60 miles per hour, moving out of our viewing area, likely by around 5 a.m. or so. The severe weather threat starting to decrease as we're losing some of that instability, which is good news for us. The overall threat for severe weather across mid Missouri is lower than points across the plains. Getting into tomorrow morning. We'll start out with temperatures near 50 degrees in some spots. We are still going to see gusty winds throughout the entire day behind the system, likely holding on to cloud cover through mid to late afternoon, but we will likely see temperatures get up to near 60 again tomorrow with strong winds coming from the southeast. We have a wind advisory in effect for all of mid Missouri tomorrow that goes until three o'clock. That's because we could see wind gusts up to around 45 to 50 miles per hour at times. Here's what that wind tracker is going to look like overnight. Strongest winds approaching the area after midnight becoming more widespread into tomorrow morning, especially as we get into early afternoon as that low pressure will be spinning just to our north and start to wrap around those winds. Winds finally start to diminish getting down to around 20 miles per hour by later tomorrow night. Temperatures tomorrow climbing back up into the upper 50s to around 60 degrees as skies begin to clear by late afternoon. And then later in the week, we're actually going to see some warm temperatures. Tuesday and Wednesday, still somewhat breezy. Highs are going to remain in the 60s, but I'm tracking another potential storm system that could move just to our south. That could bring us a chance for some rain on Thursday, likely after about noon or even a little bit later. And then heading into Friday, there's a chance we could see some of that turnover to some morning snowfall. Once that clears, we're in for temperatures that are a little bit warmer over the weekend.